So why Krishna consciousness is very attractive <coughs> to Westerners? Uh, there is no miracle, there is no wonder, because uh, Krishna consciousness, unlike any uh, tradition, gives a kind of depth of knowledge and spiritual experiences which are simply not available anywhere in the world. Um, for example, I've spoken to one uh, Christian who is a wealthy businessman and he gives a lot of money to the Christian projects and uh, therefore he is included in a very high circles of leadership in Russian Orthodox Church. And after he learned about Krishna consciousness, uh, from one of our members, he started not only reading Prabhupada's books very seriously, studying them, and he started chanting Japa while continuing with his Christian practices. And when we met with him, I was wondering, how do you combine your Christianity and Krishna consciousness? He said, no, actually Krishna consciousness gives such an additional um, boost to my spiritual practices which is not available uh, through any other means. And he said, it's not only me. I know many high-level priests who are uh, reading Prabhupada's books to have knowledge, to have the capacity to answer the questions of congregation members, because the can, kind of knowledge is not available in Christian tradition. And uh, they also chant Japa, because the type of spiritual experience which is available through chanting Hare Krishna is not coming through chanting Christian prayers. And um, also in America, um, in California, Northern California, there is a interesting town which is called Palo Alto. And even though it's a small town, but it produced many world famous people like Steve Jobs, who is the founder of uh, Apple, and uh, Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, multi-billionaires, and uh, many famous people came from there. Incidentally, my spiritual master, Shilindri Swami, also was born in Palo Alto. And so devotees go there, and they do Harinams. And after one Harinam, a man came, and he said, thank you all very much for introducing God and spiritual practices in such a positive, jolly way, because you're singing, you're dancing, you're giving us very nice uh, food. And it is so different from Christian approach, you know, these Christian preachers, they come and they shout and they curse us and they threaten us that we all will go to hell unless we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And so he said, on this kind of background, you look very different and you look very positive and you look very attractive. And so naturally, Krishna consciousness is very attractive because the name Krishna means all attractive one, as we know, and uh, it's attractive for so many reasons. First of all, even uh, mundane scholars, they acknowledge that amongst the big five, as it's called, the five major uh, religious denominations on the planet, the three, uh, the one out of the three largest ones, Hinduism, is the oldest living spiritual tradition of the earth. So Hinduism is the oldest spiritual tradition and as we know Vaishnavism or Krishna consciousness is the heart of Hinduism and where this is where it all came from and uh, Therefore, the, you know, um, it is the oldest uh, and very effective and uh, spiritual practice with complete knowledge. Try to argue with the Hare Krishna, you know. I mean, I, some, some unfortunate atheists or materialists who try to, you know, argue with the Hare Krishna people, try to, you know, corner them with their tricky questions, they actually regretted the attempts <laughs> because the kind of, you know, knowledge the devotees present, uh, no one else has. And the depth of spiritual experiences that it's really amazing, like uh, I have my spiritual experiences and so many other people who are chanting Hare Krishna, they have so many amazing spiritual experiences. 
And uh, many know that my spiritual master, Srila Indra Swami, he is uh, uh, publishing diary of a traveling monk, which is just full of miracles, which are happening to him on a very regular basis. And some people, they have a hard time to believe that so many miracles can happen to the same person. But it is all true because Krishna consciousness is very amazing and very miraculous. And so there are more than enough reasons why so many people are attracted to Krishna.